I grew up in a competitive household. My dad was a college basketball player. My family had a lot of cousins growing up, so you got outside, you played, and you didn't want to be the worst, so you just competed. I'm gonna do my best. It's, it's fun for me to do my best, and by the time I was young, I learned that it was on me to do, and I just started doing it by myself. I don't know if I chose to come to school here. Kind of just the way things work out, you know? You don't really choose your path. You just walk it. I feel like I'm getting the most out of my day every day here because it's school or it's football. So I love my schedule. I've always lived by this kind of student-athlete schedule, so something I'm used to. I think it helps me in school because I'm able to say I only got a certain amount of time to do this, and you do your best work in crunch time, like when you, it's due date. So as an athlete, you're kind of always in that mode. You're always doing your best work. For me personally, I just kind of go with the flow, want to be different, but it, you're not going to make it if off the bat, you don't start to do it for yourself. So you have to have your own reasons to do it because it's a tough world out there and you have to be grounded. You have to be true to your values. I'm just going to try to do my best to continue that because that's the path I'm walking. I'm definitely happy to fill whatever position I can for this team, and if it's be one of the leaders, then for sure I'll do that. It's Jake Menders. I play baseball here at BMI, and I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. My dad took me to my first game, and then just kind of clicked right there. And from there, I just started playing baseball. So it's from five till now. I mean, I've, I've been playing baseball almost every single day in my life. You just kind of fall in love with the game. Like, there's just so many things that people don't get to see, like, outside of the game. And it just drives you to go out there and do it again. I want to win yesterday's game. I want to win today's game. I want to win tomorrow's game. I want to win every game 10 years from now. I go out there and I expect to dominate every single thing I do, no matter when it is, no matter what the situation is, and, and to just win. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It just has such a big impact on my life and like the way I live my life. You have that faith behind you, nothing can stop you. Baseball isn't everything, like baseball isn't life. Like I enjoy baseball and baseball has been a huge part of my life. But you know, in like three years, like I'll be done with baseball. Like next year I graduate and that'll be it. Coming here has given me like the ultimate, like almost plan B kind of, but it's not even like a plan B. It's just having like this place with your name is one of the biggest privileges almost to have. I'm Jessica Hankin. I'm on the women's rifle team and I'm from Alpharetta, Georgia. I want a commission in the army as an officer. I was raised with this like great appreciation for the military and like the soldiers in it and I wanted to be a part of that. Originally the, the goal was to be like a psychiatrist to help with uh, soldiers with PTSD but as I was like looking in the different jobs I kind of like realized that like maybe even just being a social worker like someone who works with the soldiers and their families. I had shot occasionally like in high school but it was nothing serious. And then I came here and they said, oh, there's, there's rifle tryouts. So me and two of my roommates decided to just try out, just for the fun of it. The, after the first day, like I made that first cutoff, and I was like, okay, no, this is actually pretty cool. I was like, I kind of like this. When you're out there shooting in the, like for a match, like you're, you're on your own. And if you shoot a bad shot, you just kind of got to get over it and keep, keep moving through. Otherwise, it's going to severely affect the rest of your scores. Everything here is so compacted. You see everyone everywhere. Like it definitely helped build that bond and like the better cohesion you have on the team. It's nice because if you're having a bad day, like your teammates can help boost you up and, and get you back in that right mindset. Like if you took a bad shot and you took a break, like they're there to help you. Whatever you set your mind to, if you're willing to put in the work and the hours, like you can, you can do it no matter what anyone else says. Charlie Hubbard, head men's soccer coach at Virginia Military Institute. I always wanted to be involved in soccer, but I didn't know exactly coaching was going to be the thing. So I grew up in a family of teachers and educators, so impacting people's lives and being involved in their lives through education was important to me. Uh, and then probably about a year and a half into college, I decided what I wanted to do and just kind of dove into it. 
First thing that we're going to try to build is a, a belief. So the guys have to enter every game with a belief that they're going to be successful, whether it be in what their individual task is or you know, the team, what we're trying to do that day. We're going to strive to improve every day. One of the kind of five things I wanted to bring into the team is a growth mindset. So we're not really going to be fixed on the troubles of today. We're going to be focused on how does today fit into the overall growth of not only the individual, but the team. We want to make sure that everybody feels like they're a part of the family because it's in my firm belief that if somebody believes and feels a part of a group, they're going to be more likely to do more for that group and be more invested. The great thing about the team we have right now is they want to improve every day and that's really been the biggest thing that I was excited to work with the team is because they, they're going to improve no matter what uh, and it's just kind of under my leadership that I need to kind of just guide them forward into you know, the, the areas and the goals we want to achieve.